Hi, I'm Mark Emily on behalf of Expert Village. In this next segment, we're going to focus on our fermentation processes. Now that we've got our beer all ready, we're going to start worrying about fermentation. So, for ales, we're going to want to keep the fermentation temperature between 60 and 70 degrees. You can go on the higher end for some of the higher strength beers, like the IPAs, um, and also for the wheats, which will pull out a little more of the interesting phenolics. For lagers, such as a Bach or a Pilsner, we're going to want to go as cold as we can, which means we want to hit for 50, aim for 50 degrees. So, with this, you're going to want to take your bucket, put it into a nice, relatively cool, dark place in your house. And let's start our primary fermentation. In about 24 to 48 hours, you should start seeing your airlock bubble a fair amount. Um, in about three days, your bubbling should be very, very vigorous, maybe even once every second, maybe once every two or three seconds. After that, it's going to start slowing down. Once it hits about one bubble every six seconds, you're going to want to go through your first racking operation, which is described in a later segment. Once you've done your first racking operation, the bubbling is going to go down significantly. Okay. At this point, it's going to be going into its secondary fermentation. All the yeast is going to be falling out of the solution, kind of sedimenting down at the bottom, and you're going to have a nice, clean beer. If you did buy a hydrometer, you can track the progress of your fermentation along with this. So, you're going to start with your initial hydrometer reading. Then, in about five or six days, okay, when your primary fermentation is done, you should be down to about 30% of what your initial hydrometer reading was. So, if you were starting at 1050, that would mean you'd be about 1015. At that point, you're going to siphon. Um, and then, after that, you're going to watch your kind of secondary fermentation. It may drop a couple more points, may get down to 25% oh, of what you started to. If you get to that point, you're in good shape. Even if you didn't, you still may be okay as long as it's not still bubbling. And if you're lower, you're still good.